As you've seen, a portal provides a neat way to create a window from the record we're currently viewing to the related records in another table. The relationship criteria determine which records will show in the portal. So you might say that the relationship is operating as a kind of filter for the portal, causing the portal to show a subset of the records present in the other table. With that in mind, you can set up relationships specifically for the purpose of controlling the display of records in a portal. However, there's an additional way to refine the way a portal works so that it will filter records by additional criteria over and above the criteria established by the relationship itself. For example, suppose that here on the parent layout, I want to separate the child records by gender. I've added a field in the child table to store the gender on each child record. To accomplish the objective of having two separate portals, one for males and one for females, on the parent layout, I could set up two relationships, each of which constrains the set of records to be returned so as to include only males in one case and only females in the other. I'd need to add key fields and additional table occurrences in order to have the elements in place to support the two portals. That's an approach that works and it's not too tedious, but in fact there's a somewhat easier way to go. FileMaker provides the option to filter portal records via a calculation. It's a simple checkbox that you may have seen here in the Portal Setup dialog. Using the Portal Filter feature is not only easier and quicker to set up, but it also requires less underlying changes to the database. With filters attached to the individual portals on the layout, we won't need a second relationship. Both portals can use the same original relationship and simply filter its contents. And we won't need to add any additional filter key fields either. Let me demonstrate. To begin with, if I click the Specify button, choose from the child table the gender field, and enter equals female. Now I'll click OK, and you can see that the filter is now turned on. When I click OK again and go back to Browse mode, now rather than seeing all three records in the portal, only the child records that are noted as females are appearing. Now back in layout mode, I'll change the number of records in this portal to three and I'll duplicate the portal so we have a second portal below the current one. I'm also making the portals a little narrower and moving the fields across to the left a bit. Next, I'll put some text to identify the portals. The upper portal is female and the lower portal is male. Now, for the second portal, I need to edit the filter so that it shows those child records which don't have female in the gender field. Now, of course, I could simply have entered equals male, and that, in most cases, would have had the same effect. However, using not equals female for the second portal ensures that all child records related to the current record will at least show in one portal or the other, even if there's nothing in the gender field on a given record. Click OK, and we'll go back to browse mode and see what we've got. And sure enough, the portal for male children has Simon showing, the portal for female children has Josie and Kelly. And if I navigate through other records in the table, you can see that the child records are subdivided according to the criteria that I set up and appearing in the two portals that are based on the same relationship which points to a single table occurrence of the child table. As you can see, there are two somewhat different approaches you can use to arrive at filtered portal displays one using separate relationships for the two portals, and another using a single relationship and simply applying different filter criteria at the level of the individual portals on the layout. If you already have the relationship graph elements in place, or you need them for other purposes in your database, then there's no reason not to leverage them to support portal displays. But in most other cases, applying a calculation expression as a filter at the portal level is a great way to achieve the required result in fewer steps and with less schema and graph clutter.